day, which feels kind of appropriate. Although, when I walked into the store this morning, gang, I felt a little like I haven't been here for so long and I haven't been with all of you. So I'm super, super pumped to be here to talk about color. We all need a good old shot of color in our closet right now. We were just laughing this morning. Someone said, did like January feel like the longest month ever? And I said, 2023 just can't, just really dragged on. I mean, did it not feel never ending? So I am excited and pumped to be turning the page to a new month. We're gonna talk about how to infuse some fun color into your wardrobe and especially some of those pieces either you wanna wear this very minute or you might be taking on a future vacation. I know that's on my mind for sure. So here we go. We're gonna start with my favorite look. So reality is this time of year, I'm looking for an easy new pant. Now I lean into denim, of course, but it's so fun to update the closet with a great new utility pant. I was laughing, I was saying to someone the other day, I'm like, I don't know, do I really need another? And my girlfriend was like, you wear them all the time. I was like, it's true, I do wear them all the time. So here's a fabulous new pant. This is from Velvet. This is the Maya pant. Couple things to note about utility. We're gonna call it all season the relaxed utility for a reason. The pant, the utility pant, has just gotten a little bit easier and I am here for it all the way. There is a relaxed sensibility going on in general in clothing. I think it is the perfect, perfect transition as we go into this new year, I want things that have an ease to them, that have an implied comfort, but don't look sloppy. And that's what's so fabulous about these is that they tailor them in the right spots, but then give you a little bit more room where you want it. So think wide leg, think relax. So what I think is fabulous about this pant is this yummy green. So it is a utility pant, no doubt, but has some fun saturation in the green, not such a dark, dark green, which I think makes it so cute. These run true to size and they are a little bit of a high rise zip fly patch pocket. Great pockets on the backside to give your tush a little lift and a neutral. So treat these the same way you would any other utility pan. They go with everything. Newsflash, they also come in this amazing marigold yellow, which is so fun. And don't be scared. Don't be scared. Treat this pan the same way you would any utility pan. If you are apprehensive, about wearing more color on the bottom. I say the easiest thing to pair with it, a denim shirt, a white shirt, that Kayla Shrunken is your perfect piece to wear with this. You can also wear a simple sweater. I think this would look fantastic with cream to keep it really neutral and almost like a nod to monochromatic. Lots of ways to wear this. I love the green, of course, but that yellow might be making its way to my closet as well. Okay, I know we're all thinking about the sweatshirt, aren't we? Are we dying for the sweatshirt? It's so fun. So this is from Everive. You can see it's a more relaxed body. I'm wearing an extra small, just for kind of size reference. It's meant to be relaxing. This banded bottom with this fun retro varsity stripe going on is so darn cute. I love that we hit it here and on the neckline as well. So cozy soft. This is a really plush, sweatshirt so it's gonna keep you warm on those cold days it's gonna bring a little sunshine to your closet a really fun piece to have and you'll notice this is not a matchy matchy situation right there's no green in my stripe but I'm wearing it with these it would also of course be adorable with denim love that idea but I kind of like it with the green as an unexpected pairing and then let's talk footwear now I am Definitely, definitely obsessing over all that fun retro sneaker business that's happening. We're talking all those amazing Golas that are out there, all those New Balance. But I also think a more minimal sneaker is an essential for your February closet. So here's a fun spin on it. This is from P448. We were just talking earlier. What's so great about this is that it almost feels like a little nod to summer in a sneaker. Check it out. Crochet. Ah, how cute is that? more of a raffia looking lace and then a textured suede so it's more of a natural palette which i really like it's not bright white so you can wear with a lot of things a really really fun one to have and it's a little bit more cleaned up so that minimal sneaker is a fun fun piece to put into your closet so here we go every sweatshirt 
wide leg, kind of relaxed utility, minimal sneaker. If you want to turn it up, I go retro sneaker and you're done. Okay, let's get into some more color because it's so fun. Okay, let's talk Let's talk essentials first, right? Those pieces that every closet needs just to be kind of a benchmark. We're gonna talk about the NOLA because tank season is coming. And if you're gonna get a tank, you better get the best one out there. This is the NOLA tank from Michael Stars. You know this fabrication. This is in our magic dress that we all love so much that we keep bringing in new colors and slightly new variations. It's sexy, it's casual. The tank does the exact same thing. Wider open neckline so you get to show a little bit of your collarbone, which I think really opens up if you're typically not a crew neck gal. This is an easy one to wear because it's not so high around the neck. A slight cut in, but still bra friendly. Really important. So that sexy kind of shaped tank is definitely a thing for spring season. But what I love about this one is you don't have to worry about that like situation here. It happens, right? It happens. This guy is so great because it's bra friendly and just enough length that it's easy to tuck in, but you can also leave it out. So fun. Now, let's talk color. Amazing green, pink, the color of the season. If I had to pick one color that you need to get in your closet this spring season, it's going to be pink. Even those of you who claim to not be a pink gal, I'm gonna turn you. I'm gonna make you love pink before the season's over. So many fun ways to do it. This is an easy way to kind of toe in. And then of course, if you're gonna get the color, you better stock up on your black and your white. Best selling tank question. I would love to see the details. Oh yes. Oh, shoe. oh my gosh, you guys. So you're asking me to show you details. <laughs> I'm still I'm still in my non-manicured hand stage, so please I'm gonna forgive me. I'm gonna like tuck my hands <laughs> under. So here is this amazing P448 sneaker. Look at how cute that is. Is this not just fantastic? Great crochet detailing. Here's that lace I was talking about. Look at that, how fun that is. This is a splurge fun item. It's minimal, but with a little bit of edge and zip to it. Absolutely love this guy. And I also like that the platform's not so high. So it's a pretty easy one to wear. You're already kind of getting the trend here, but without like too many bells and whistles. It doesn't go one step too far. So isn't that great? Right, it's so good, I just love it, love it. Since we're here, let's talk about this ring. So, natural stone rings, it's a thing. It's kind of, and I, I like to think of this as like a statement ring, but what's really fun about them is that you can wear them with anything. So I grabbed this one because it's one of my favorites and wearing it on my pointer finger because I think, feels really fun, right? So my cuticles look so healthy, oh, I don't know. Mm, trying. Okay, I just put on lotion because they were looking like a cracked mess. So what's so fun about a like natural stone looking ring is that they make a statement but they can go super casual or you can dress them up. So I love this guy. It's a little bit more adjustable so you can wear it really on any finger you want. I'm just kind of a sucker for wearing a statement ring on my ring finger. I don't know, there's like something that just feels kind of, I don't know, cool about it. It also reminds me of Diane Keaton and Family Stone. Remember that movie? Love that movie, Christmas movie. And she always wears that cool black ring on her finger and channeling Diane Keaton because she's an icon. So really fun way to wear some like great little stone pieces. There's another one that I absolutely adore. If you want to get a little hit of turquoise in, this is another really fun way to do it. Great kind of faceted ring on that one and the shape of that one is so darn fun. Again, gang, no rules here. These go with anything. So you can wear turquoise with literally any color you have in your closet because it feels natural, right? It's just a stone. So easy one to wear. And I love this because it's got just a tiny, tiny bit of blush in it, but tiny. So works with white, works with color. Done and done. Okay, so we talked about the Nola Tank, one of our favorites. You know that I'm not gonna get away with talking about essentials without talking about the perfect white tee. It comes in color. Isn't that funny? Perfect white tee, but in color. So two great options here. I love this great kind of what do we want to call this? It reminds me of an orange Julius, but maybe that's not tempting for a t-shirt, but it does remind me of that. So this kind of citrusy orange, and then yes, navy can be a color. I love navy as kind of an unexpected pairing. This would be a really easy way to ease into that yellow pant with just a little navy tee, simple, and then put on your kicks, done. 
doesn't feel nautical, but it has kind of that fun spring vibe to it. I love the idea of that. Remember these tees run true to size. We also just got in the crew neck version, which is fantastic. You're gonna love it, you're gonna wear it. Okay, let's talk sweatshirts. So I've got this amazing every sweatshirt on. It's sweatshirt weather. It's not sweater weather, sweatshirt weather. So this is what we're wearing this time of year and we're gonna talk through all of my favorites. And like, look at this, look at this cornucopia of color. I've always wanted to be able to use the word cornucopia in context, so here it is. Cornucopia of color. All right, we're gonna start from the front. I say Valentine's Day is calling my name. Maybe you're volunteering in your kiddo's classroom or you're doing something casual or you just wanna do a nod to V-Day without going all in. Really fun option here. Another every favorite. I love the play on stripes here. A little bit of blush, a little bit of this darker kind of fuchsia pink. Very similar cut to the sweatshirt I'm wearing, not quite as dolman. So a little bit more shape to the sleeve, but also again, meant to be a little bit more relaxed and fit. Absolute favorite here. Speaking of Valentine's Day, our good friend Sharla was wearing this yesterday and everyone was dying over it. How fun is this? Come on, check it out. Look, look, look. Can you see this great little stitched heart? Yeah, I think orange can be for Valentine's Day and then you can wear it all the time after. So cute with this utility pant, absolutely love it. So orange with a great little pink heart over it. Again, more relaxed. I don't know what our buyers are doing, but these sweatshirts are just the plushest of plushest of plush. So, so yummy, really fun way to go here. If you wanna go pink, yeah, I'm still trying. I'm gonna get you on the pink train. This Almo sweatshirt is a really fun fashion piece. So, a little bit more structure to this one. So, it's still soft, but it's gonna have a little bit more shape. So, if you'd like to have if you tend to be someone who likes a little bit more tailoring in your closet, you like to have a little bit more structure, this is a great option for you. It's also a touch shorter. It's not cropped, but it's shorter. So if you are short-waisted, this is a fabulous item. I also love this for petites, right? So, so fun. Okay, let's go to the other end of the spectrum. Not so bright, but still a color. This is from, you got it, Every knocking it out of the park. What's so fun about this is the play on fabric. So I'm gonna come in close so you can see. So we're taking the reverse of the terry through the sleeve. You're getting that yummy, yummy softness on both sides. And then this really, really pale yellow. This is a yellow everybody can wear, including blondes. Yeah, you can do it. You could totally do it. So cute, right? It's like this pale, pale lemon. So fun. Like looks like a sorbet almost, doesn't it? So I think this is an easy way to kind of usher in some of those spring colors without having to go over the top. And last but not least, let's talk about this one. It's so pretty. Who knew that a sweatshirt could go feminine? But this one is with this great little lattice trim. This is from Michael Stars. Wider neckline on this one. So again, I love that for a crew neck. If you don't love a high crew, this is a great way to do it. In this yummy, yummy lilac color. I think purple can be polarizing purple polarizing. I think it can be, right? You're a purple lover or a purple hater. I think lavender is kind of neutral. It's a Switzerland of purples, right? It's easy to wear. It's got a lot of blue in it, which makes it really, really fun. Again, this detail I think really helps elevate it. It's a really great piece to have. I just want to make sure. You're wondering about what color to wear with the orange? The orange. Oh, the sweatshirt. That's a good question. Hold, please. I'm going to take this one out separately. First and foremost, I would, without a doubt, without a doubt, wear it with a utility pan, for sure, right? So I think this combination is bold with this brighter green, but I also think it's really fresh and fun. Now, if you wanted to like take a step back and not go quite as saturated, I would go with a darker utility pan. So think like our sanctuary utility, the citizens of humanity utility, that jogger silhouette. Either one would be really fabulous and super easy to wear. If you wanted to go even more neutral still, I'm just, this is like right next to me. Oh, great little pant. This is actually from Cut. You could wear a cream or a white bottom. I've got some white jeans behind me I can show you, but that would be another, I think maybe easier way to kind of ease into this. I'll grab a white jean to show you. I mean, this would be awfully darn fun. So this is a Citizens of Humanity Gaucho. It's more of a cream 
Love this silhouette. It's similar in spirit to the wider leg utility I have on, but I think that's a great way to temper, right? That orange. Charlotte was wearing it yesterday. She had a white shirt on underneath and she was just wearing a pair of blue jeans. Looked really fresh and fun. Helpful? Helpful. Okay. Color can be a little bit of a stumper sometimes, right? We have to think about what, how we're pairing it. It doesn't have to be hard game. We're going to make it super easy. Okay. Let's talk color in blouses. So we've been seeing this really fun kind of statement top happening for quite a while. It's not going anywhere for spring. In fact, it's evolving into dresses, let me tell you. And at this point, I don't even know that like a statement top was a statement top anymore. It's just a great little top you have. So what makes these fun is the color and the silhouette. There's a touch of bohemian spirit to it, but not too over the top. They're proportionate, flattering, and of course, so darn fun. So we're gonna start with every top. I love this one because I think it's really fun for V-Day. Great floral pattern rounded and cream, has touches of purple, magenta, pink. What makes this easy is that, I'm just gonna pull out this blue cutoff for a second, but you can imagine it with a full length jean, how beautiful that would be. So it's an easy one to wear right now. It's also lighter weight. So if you are thinking and dreaming of vacations coming your way, this would be a fun piece to grab. You can throw it on with a pair of cutoffs out to dinner in a flash. Okay, another great V-Day top. Again, this is from Cleo Bella. So you know Cleo Bella, they're always gonna take a print and they're just gonna add something so special to it that makes it so stunning. This is so fantastic. Look at gold, little bit of Lurex in this guy. I love that they took this contrast color in the print and added that to the sleeve. Now it's a small ruffle, so it's not over the top. It doesn't feel too crazy. V-neck, thank you for that. Also love the silhouette on this. So for those of you who are bustier, this is an easy one to not tuck in, okay? Because you're gonna have the room and you can just leave it out, it's not too long. If you wanna create more of a waist or a shape or if you are a longer torso, you can tuck this guy in. Kind of love it with a pair of white denim. How fresh is that? You know me, I don't make any rules about white denim, so I think you should wear them all year round. Really, really fun way to do this. And if you wanna wear it right now, just pop it on with a black booty. Done, so easy. Or a black clog would be so cute. I mean, that'd be so cute. So, super, super fun option here. This is great, right? So cute. Okay, now we're gonna go like color. We're going for it. We're going for it. Okay, it's another citrus color. This time, it's an orange. Okay, another Cleo Bella top. What I love about this is that it's not a print. It's just a fabulous color, but the fabric is to die for, to die for. Always been one of my favorite fabrications. So more of a Swiss stat, they call it. So beautiful cotton base with this great texture to it. Again, V neckline, thank you for that. So for those of us who like a little bit more curve, like to open this up, if you have a, if you have a pretty big bust, or if you are petite, this is a nice way to kind of open up that neckline and elongate your torso. I also love that this has that gathered arm, so not so big. Rails, another printed top, another V-neck. What is really lovely about this is the hand of this. So can you hear this, guys? Oh, so smooth, so smooth. This print is so pretty. So a little bit more, I would say, of like some body to this one, where I think here, light, airy, breezy, this to me is the perfect transition top and how cute is this in all these shades of green. What to wear with it? Well, edge it up a little bit. Super fun page pant with a button fly in white. I think that would be so fun. Make it a little bit more casual maybe with your cream gaucho. Another way to do it and you can wear cream or white with this or wear it right now with a pair of blue jeans or, to, lost it. Take it on vacation and wear it with a cutoff. There's no wrong answer. So many options, so cute, so cute. Okay, then last but not least, I say the best for last when it comes to blouses because this top was a bestseller. Thank you, Velvet. You brought it in in a new color. We all love green right now. Talking, hanging, all at the same time. Not successfully, not yet, there we go. Okay, we all loved this top when it came in last summer. Brought it back in in a new updated color 
gorgeous. So what makes this so fun is I think all of the details. So love that crochet lace. Love this more feminine, delicate lace around the neckline. It is a more relaxed fit for sure. So I typically in velvet blouses go down a size. I just think they run generous. They tend to be more roomy in the bust. That's my opinion. If you want it to be a little bit more relaxed, I would wear your true size, but a knockout color. This is the same color as, you can see it behind me, that amazing Michael Starr's dress that we love, love, love. That scrunch sexy dress, so darn cute. This, another way to do it, so amazing. So question with your shoes. Do you have any tips on breaking them in? Do you wear true to size to avoid blisters? Oh, the blisters, I know. So a couple things that I do with my P448s, and I've learned my lesson with, frankly, all sneakers because I've been in a situation where I've counted on it working for me like for 14 hours in a row and it just doesn't do it. So I break them in. I wear them a couple times for a couple hours. I never don't wear socks with them. I wear my no-show socks. My favorite no-show socks are Smartwool, by far, because they don't show, but they provide you cushion, which a lot of socks don't. Bombas also does an amazing no-show sock, so love both of those. But I do wear them quite a few times before I like break them out for a full day. So if you are looking for a fun minimalist sneaker and you wanna take this on vacation with you, I encourage you to wear it a couple times before you bring it on that long trip around the Naples Zoo. We've all done it. We've all done it. We've been there with our kids for many, many hours. So I would just encourage you to break them in a little bit. So those are kind of my tips. I also, gang, this is super old school. This is like throwback from my dad's closet, to be honest. But I do also like stuff my shoes with either newspaper or tissue. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I have some shoe horns in my closet and I do put those in some of my newer shoes. Number one, my leather shoes, just to keep the shape, but sometimes in my sneakers, just once I've worn them and they're kind of molding to your feet, put that in there and it helps keep that shape open. So kind of two tips. You can get a shoe horn, believe it or not, just on Amazon, super easy. Nordstrom used to sell them. I don't think they sell them anymore because you know, they're really old school, but they do work. There's a, there's a reason for them to be. Okay, let's talk about one of those really fun pieces that you need in your closet. You're gonna wear it over your NOLA tank, no doubt, and that is that fun little wrap. So two stunning wraps here. The first from Tol Tolani, the second from Cleo Bella. So the Tolani wrap, what I love about this, longer, almost more like a robe, if you will. This is a stunning piece with just a little tank and a jean. This would be one that goes with it. It's on the floor. This would be one that I would throw on with a great pair of white jean or cream jeans and my tank underneath. Absolutely show stopping, gorgeous. You can also do, if you want a little bit of a shorter silhouette, I love this from Cleo Bella. Little bit softer in color, but still a lot of fun. So you've got that little hit of neon orange blues, golds, browns, creams, and yes, black. Now, there's gonna be a lot of people out there who are gonna tell you that this is a great, perfect piece to bring on your trip because you can wear it as a cover-up. And you can, gang. So if you are rocking that like sexy mallet one piece, I mean, how gorgeous is that? This, your one piece, a pair of cutoffs, you knew that I was gonna grab these, is the perfect like pool to sightseeing to activity outfit. Easy to wear, fun to throw in your bag, doesn't take up a lot of room, and adds some punch. It's also a really great piece to throw on over a more fitted dress. So that Michael Stars Ultra Rib dress is a perfect pairing to either one of these. Black, green, we have it in a beautiful lavender, can't go wrong. Okay, now let's talk the statement dress in Color. All right, we're gonna talk about these three first and I'm gonna give you a jumpsuit idea. Okay, so fun statement dresses. Here's one you can wear right now, right here, right now. Also be lovely for Valentine's Day and it's uber, uber flattering. So smocked waist, shorter sleeve, but enough coverage so that it's not sleeveless. Keyhole neckline and more of a midi length, but we're gonna give it, give it a little bit of sex appeal. It's got a slit of it. So, when you're moving, you're gonna show some leg. Love this print with all these levels of, you got it, pink in it. Perfect for V-Day, but of course you can wear it well, well beyond that. 
really fun print here. This is from Amanda Uprichard. What I love about this dress is this one, one of those dresses you're gonna put on and you're gonna feel pretty. I think that a dress can do a ton of things for you. It can make you feel sexy, it can make you feel strong, and it can definitely make you feel pretty. So this hits all those fun feminine notes because it's got great waist definition, this square neckline, which is so flattering. You can wear a bra with it because uh -huh, it has sleeves. It's got smocking, so there's your perfect fit function right there, gang. Love, love, love that, and it has zipper and more of a three-quarter sleeve, so a little bit more coverage. So, I see you spring occasions. I'm thinking Easter holidays, I'm thinking graduations, I'm thinking showers, I'm thinking family reunions for your spring break trip, calling your name, girls trip, wine country. Sonoma, imagine you wearing this, looking like a million bucks. Oh yes, I'll have another glass of rosé. Why not? So fun, so darn cute. And then another really fun, just spin on color, this stunning dress from Frame. So all this color, this like tropical explosion that's happening in color, if you're not a print gal, there's lots of ways to embrace this. I think this Frame dress is just one of them. Look at that incredible waist detailing. I love these buttons. The make of this is unbelievable. Functional buttons, guys, not just for show, functional. You've got this great V-neck, and what I love about this is that it's actually almost like a muscle silhouette, so it's gonna hit you right at that shoulder. So flattering and so fun. And last but not least, fun dress, fun jumpsuit. I say these for last because they're kind of Valentine's Day friendly and fun, so. Flirty dress, oh yeah, flirty dress. You gotta have one. This best-selling silhouette, we cannot get enough of it. V-neck, long sleeves, but look at this. Little bit sheer, so equals a little bit sexy. Waist detailing, flirty skirt. How to wear this right now. I'd wear it with a booty, I'd wear it with a heel, or yes, you can wear it with a tall boot. Any way you wanna do it, so, so fun. And in this yummy, yummy pink color, can't go wrong. If you want more coverage, but you're looking for something that still reads feminine, sweet, beautiful, this jumpsuit is a killer. So, full length, waist detailing, you've got that tie waist, V-neck, beautiful keyhole neckline, which is as functional as it is beautiful. And again, more of that kind of three-quarter sleeve, so you get a little bit more coverage. So, so comfortable, gang. And this print, I mean, can you get enough of that? How gorgeous is that? So many fun colors in that. Oh, right? Just stunning. Look at the buttons on this one. Ooh, you can't go wrong. Now, if you want to take any one of these pieces and just make them a little bit more casual, I'm calling this transitional jackets. So think about like the great blazer. Think about, um, your kind of like sport varsity jacket. Think about your denim jacket. So many ways to do this transitional layer. This is just one of them, and I had to bring this out because it's from Levi's, new for every, which is so darn fun. And this is what, kind of a relaxed trucker. So we talked about the relaxed utility. We talked about silhouettes just being a little bit more relaxed right now. Here is a fabulous jacket that you can pop on also relaxed, also really fun. So, go true to size in this one, gang. Don't size down, you don't need to. This is the perfect size, this is exactly how it's meant to be styled. Really fun, you can see that the ease of this is what's gonna take down, I think, some of the more dressy elements of what these dresses can do, even some of your blouses. It's also a perfect foil to a utility pant. You can also wear it with, you got it, your white denim, Nothing it doesn't go with. This is your new denim jacket that you need. So, so fun, right? And it takes on a totally different spirit when you have something a little more shaped underneath. I love it with a sweatshirt, right? Because it's just relaxed, easy, cool, breezy. But now imagine it, va va boom, with this frame dress underneath. I mean, can we say sexy? We can, because it is. It's going to be stunning. So fun. We talked a whole bunch of color. It's Groundhog's Day. We're not gonna do this again. Maybe you'll watch it again, I don't know. 
but it is all about ushering in some of these fun spring trends, that relaxed utility pant, the sweatshirt everybody needs. We're talking about transitional jackets, but most importantly, I'm covering up all the color with this great pant. We're talking color. It's coming, it's coming. Think tropics, get ready for it. We're gonna help you figure out exactly how to do it all season long. Thanks so much everyone, and we will see you soon. Take care.